In this video, we will see how to find anything on Google and how hackers can find passwords or even more information through a single Google search. When you think about hacking, you imagine about a random dude typing random words in a terminal with black background. It looks cool, but that is not what hacking is all about. The first step in hacking is information gathering. A hacker will try to collect every information about the target and Google can be a very good tool to do that. Even if you are not a hacker, finding exactly what you want to search is a good skill. So this video divides the whole concept into two parts. In the first part, we will see how we can use advanced Google searching methods to find exactly what we want. Then, in the second part, we will start searching for interesting info from a hacker's perspective. But before that, you must know some ethics about this. It is legal to find information through a Google search, but misusing the information you find is illegal. So always remember this and never cross the line. Let's start the first part of the video. Here I have taken a browser window. You can use any browser, but the search engine must be Google. The first thing anyone will search is the channel Hacker's House, because it is a very good channel with quality content. As soon as you hit enter, you will find some random websites and not our channel, which is sad. As a fan, you surely want to see the channel at top, but how's that possible? To make this possible, we use some Google search operators and refine our results to get exactly what we need. First operator we are going to use is site. For this, you will have to type site colon, then type the website link. Here, I type youtube.com and this will tell Google to show results only from YouTube. You can use this feature to find anything on a specific site. Sometimes websites don't have a search feature or their search feature is not that good. In such cases, it will be extremely easy to find anything on that site. Let's hit enter. And here are our search results. Notice that all of the search results are from YouTube site. Scroll down and here is our channel, which is still not the top. Now we will use the minus operator to refine results. This search result at the top has a word 3 a.m. We are going to use this keyword. For this type, minus 3 a.m. What this will do is remove any search results, which may have 3 a.m. in it, and hit enter. The result with 3 a.m. is now removed. Let's repeat this process until our channel is at the top. And finally, our channel is at the top. The next step is to click on it and subscribe now, which is a very important step. I know you are interested for the hacking part. So I am going to keep user part short and let's move to the hacking part. In this part, we're going to learn how to find useful information, which are accidentally left open in the internet. By using a combination of these Google search operators, I am again, telling you that we are finding this information only for educational purpose. If you find any private information, then try to inform the person or company that their data is being leaked. I am typing all in text, colon, username, password. This will force Google to show specific results that have the words username and password. You can also try to find your homework content or anything else using this and hit enter. All results here include words, username and passwords, and as you can see in this search result, both words are highlighted by Google. But these results are random search results and don't contain any private info, so we are going to do some changes. This time, we're going to type asterisk followed by gmail.com instead of username. Here, asterisk will work as a wildcard and fill a word. It means we can search for any Gmail account using this operator. You can use this operator if you don't know exactly what to search for and hit enter. 
you will again find some random websites with no private information, which means we are still not precise enough to find private info. To be more precise, I am typing file type colon xlsx. This will force Google to search results only in XLSX format, which is a file created by Microsoft Excel. And this file format is used to store data of members in an organization or in database. For example, you can use PDF format to find ebooks, docx for Windows Word file, and there are many such file type. But one thing I want to mention here is you can't search MP3 file format because Google removed it due to copyright issue. Let's hit enter. And here you will see many interesting results. These files may have ID and passwords, which are accidentally left open to access. This search results says second grade username and passwords. So this may be from some school. Scroll a little down and you see a search result called social media passwords, which are again accidentally disclosed. Let's click on one of these results. And yes, I was right. This file is full of information like username, passwords, and even address. But I am going to blur them. And another thing is that I found these accounts, but I am not going to try logging into these accounts. Because that will be illegal, and you also should not try to log in. We will close this file for now, and try opening another search result. And again, this has private information, which must not be disclosed. Now, I will again close this file and go to search bar, removing file type, and adding sitepastebin.com. It will force Google to find information from this specific website. And website called Pastebin allows you to create notes where you can write anything. Some people may store their passwords here and may forget to make their note private and we are searching for that types of leaks. Let's hit enter. And Google wants us to verify as a human. Maybe because we are searching sensitive topics. Let's complete verification. And here are our results. Almost all of them have private info. Checking the first result, and yep, it has a list of ID and passwords. You could go deeper with these search operators and may even find access to webcams. I'm not going to cover all Google advanced search terms. So if you want to learn in more detail, I will leave link to a report written by senior research scientist at Google Daniel M. Russell. You can go through this report file for more in-depth knowledge. And this much for today. Thank you for watching.